what is good everybody and welcome back to the channel today Cameron and Nick and I are in New York City we're here forming a very important video filming a very important video and I thought while we're here for like 18 hours why not do a video where I let Nick control my shopping for the day so essentially we're in Soho in New York and Nick is taking my credit card he's gonna get to go into a bunch of different stores here and buy whatever he wants with no budget so I'm about to go into Supreme then I think we might go into Kith and like maybe a couple sneaker stores so I'm excited to see what I can find for this dude he gets to pick the stores and whatnot i'm gonna be tagging along in the outside reacting to how much he spent after then we'll come back either here or something to show what he bought and uh, i'm nervous and excited to see because i'm already spending a lot of money to get here because we were last minute and now i can spend even more money so i've got a few ideas of like a direction i'm gonna go with this so i think you guys will like it and so what he's gonna do for the most part a lot of these stores besides the sneaker stores won't let us film so he's gonna use these ray-ban glasses which we use to go ahead and get shots as you're seeing right now so camera nick up to you we're in the streets of new york let's go All right, so the Supreme shopping experience is pretty cool. You can see I'm walking up, you gotta wait in line, but most of these shops out here in New York, they have some sort of line outside, so it can kind of build the hype to get people to come shop. But after waiting in line, you can see me, I'm walking in, and once you walk in the store, it's nice and open. There's not that many people in there. A lot of cool guys working in there for sure. You'll walk around, check out some stuff. So one thing you definitely gotta know, everything they have in there is on display. So it's not something that you go in there and you pick up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna buy this. Uh, this is a 32 and 34. I'll do a 32. Alright, these are slim though. You might want to try them on. And then they'll end up going down like in the basement or in the back and they'll go find you your item in your size and bring it to you. How did you do? All right, so I got the freaking load out. We're already $560 deep. Jesus. That's like the place I thought was gonna be the cheapest because it's all retail. All I right. got you some good stuff. I think you're gonna like this stuff. All right, we're gonna take this back up to the room and then head back out to the next, next doors. Let's go. Have you guys ever been traveling in another city, going out, enjoying yourself, and wanted to feel fresh as possible? Well, that's where the sponsor of today's video, Tej Hanley, comes in. They've helped me start and maintain my skincare routine and making the entire process uncomplicated. It's actually one of the best skincare systems for guys like you and me. So skincare is something that I don't talk about all the time, but it's super important to keep your skin healthy. Now, I have some things on my face that I kind of deal with that I try to stay on top of that Tej Hanley has started to really help me take care of already super quickly. I have some like red patchy skin that comes up right here randomly. I don't know why I started using the product and it has really helped take it down. As you can see, you can barely even see it now. Some of you guys might not be into skincare and you might not know where to start. Well, Teach Hanley has a level one system that will really help you guys take care of all the stuff that you need. So first up, a daily face wash to take the dirt and grime off of your skin. A two times a week exfoliating scrub to go ahead and take care of all the dead skin cells on your skin. They have an AM moisturizer with SPF 20 to go ahead and make sure you're taking care of your skin as well as a PM moisturizer to make sure your skin stays healthy and hydrated throughout the night. Now they make it super simple with including an instruction card to tell you how to do it if you guys are not familiar with how to take care of your skin. One of my personal favorite parts of the product is the smell. Now, when you're taking care of your skin, I want it to feel like I'm at a spa. It feels like you're at a nice hotel and you're taking care of your skin and you're just feeling nice and refreshed. And every single one of these products has that scent. And I literally feel like I'm at a resort every time I'm taking care of my skin. You don't have to take just my word for it. They have over 5,000 five-star reviews on their website. And because Tish Hanley is sponsoring this video, they're offering my viewers a really great deal. Click the link in the description and you'll get 30% off your first box as well as a free gift. So go ahead, click the link in the description down below. Check out Tish Hanley. Take care of your skin, guys. It is really important. Let's go ahead and jump right back in the video and thank you to Tish Hanley for sponsoring this video. Oh yeah, real quick, as we were walking in the room, I was telling him, yo, they had very slim selection for summer clothes. So I mean, I didn't buy you like crazy winter clothes, but I bought you like a, some spring stuff. You'll see. All right, we'll see. We're just dropping the bags off as we go. All right, we're walking to the next spot now. I think we're heading to Kith next. That's gonna be the next spot. It's like a half a mile away. This so. store is so cool. We came here like two years ago. This is like one of the most modern looking stores. So it's starting to rain out here. It's like five o'clock, but we're gonna hit that and then hit the pizza spot. Nick wants some uh, Prince Street pizza. I put them on. They have the best. There's this one spot. What's it called? You know what it's called. Prince Street. Whatever. It is the best pizza you could imagine. It's ridiculous.
Now the Kith experience was totally different. As soon as you walk in, all the clothing in there, all the items were super high quality, super nice stuff. I just walked around trying to look at everything that they had, trying to really be diligent, and I ended up finding a pretty dope bathing suit, a pretty sick pair of shorts, and I think a couple nice t-shirts. So hopefully when we get back, all this stuff is in his size, fits right, because I think he can definitely throw together a couple dope fits with it for this summer. I don't know why these stores take as long as they do, but we ended up spending another 400 bucks in here, so we're almost to a thousand. Two stores. I mean, it's not that bad. Not that bad, honestly. What's going on? Honestly, bro, like for real, for going in there to a store this nice, only spending 400 bucks, I thought I was gonna spend more, honestly. And you waited 400 hours. Yeah, it was not worth the amount of time I waited. All right, next up, we are headed to straight to a sneaker store. We're going to Laced Up Manhattan. Now, we came here to Laced Up before, and we did a lot of stuff with them. We bought a uh, $13,000 uh, suitcase, mystery box, whatever. We did that. We're now headed to that store, but they have a different location, and uh, Nick's going to go in there. Gonna let, we actually can film in this store normally, and so uh, we're going to go in there next, and then see where the day goes. How are the vibes out here in New York? I, I like it out here. It's crazy busy, but now since like everything's open back up, like everybody seems happy and it's like everybody's out and about. Yeah, it's a lot more open. I came here like six months ago and it was a little different. Now it's just like wide open and you can go to all these stores and do everything. So we're gonna keep going. There's so many stores here. Like I'd say there's so many different designers that you don't get anywhere else. You could, in Soho. you could never go to all the stores, all the restaurants. You're gonna see something new every time you walk out the door. It's so crazy. Yep, so we're about to get laced up, and uh, let's go. All right, there's the store. This is probably gonna be the one and only sneaker store that we hit, because we show you guys buying sneakers all the time. We have to at least do it once, but uh, laced up seems to have a good selection, so wow, this store is actually a lot bigger than I thought. It goes all the way back here. What, that Pokemon towel blanket? Hey, hopefully, it looks like they got some crazy stuff. I'm gonna go in too to get some shots at the store, and then when he's buying, I'll head out. guys i'm hopping in here for a giveaway with laced up manhattan so before we go and show you everything else laced up manhattan wanted to do a giveaway between me and them over on their instagram now how this is going to work there are four items up for grabs on this giveaway for one person now first one up we have a lot number 14 off-white 50 and a size 8 we have a size 5 in the easy foam runner this is kind of like the red october colorway we have a bape t-shirt or baby milo t-shirt right there and then we also have an essentials hoodie so one person can win all of that stuff for this it is very simple all you have to do is you have to subscribe to this youtube channel right here number two go over to the lace up manhattan's instagram and give them a follow you then have to comment on this post on the screen of me and them holding this stuff and either they or i will be picking the winner randomly and it'll be on my instagram story as well as theirs so go ahead enter that giveaway for a bunch of cool stuff and shout out to laced up we work with them a lot in the past for doing another giveaway all right guys just got outside we got a couple items for a giveaway and nick is about to come out i think he finished up and uh they, they gave me a few things i'm gonna talk about the giveaway a little bit later but nick is coming out right now with his purchases all right i know you went in there and saw how fire this location is dog like right off the rip i was walking around i was looking at their like trophy case and i found you a shoe that you have been avoiding for like forever avoiding this is a shoe that you've looked at and you've wanted and haven't bought for the longest time i think you're gonna go crazy over this. all right that was quick too you were quick in and out yo i found it and it was like i lost my mind i was like this is it immediately well that's oh, good also they hooked it up it was at i'm gonna tell you right now the shoe was at 1100 but they only charge you 925 for it so pretty good deal yeah good solid deal. so we have one more spot to hit I guess we're gonna carry all these bags. Yeah. Or do you think we're good? Uh, I think we can maybe go by Eric Emanuel just yeah. to see, cause it would be cool to go to the store. Yeah, it may be busy there, but we'll see. So we're gonna head to that one last spot. It's already getting late, it's getting dark as you can tell, and it's starting to rain. It might rain on us. <laughs> maybe. All right guys, it ended up getting too late, too dark. We couldn't uh, film anymore. All the stores are closing, so we couldn't hit Eric Emanuel, but Nick's got all the stuff. Spent a good amount of money, not like an insane amount, but uh, I mean, I for only like what, 
two, three hours of shopping, I feel like I got a lot of stuff, not gonna lie. Yeah, so I think the best move for this is going to be we're gonna pack this all in the suitcase, we're gonna head back to Atlanta and show you guys there because lighting's bad, small room, and uh, we're gonna wait to do that, so. Hopefully it all fits. Yeah, hopefully it all fits. We'll catch you guys back in Atlanta. Here we go. Please interlock the devices such as laptops are sewed at this time in a bag under the seat in front of you. They may not be sewed in seat pockets. All right, guys, we just got back from New York. We teleported back here. We were literally there for 18 hours. Nick's so got fast. all the goods here. We had it all loaded up. I didn't see any of it. He packed in the suitcase, so let's go ahead and uh, see what we got. I'm excited for you to check out what I got for you. Hopefully, you like it. I mean, I think you will, but it's some different stuff. All right, so what do you want to start off with? I mean, I went to Kith, Supreme, and I also went to Laced Up, so three different stores, three different options to start off with. I mean, I like Kith. Let's go to Kith. Also, if you guys are watching, Neville Racing Drop, NevilleRacing.com. I think it's already live and it might be sold out i have no clue but go ahead and check it out see some uh, tan tones here they Should wrapped it all up together in like one bag so one. this one was like 500 bucks wasn't it yeah here check out the receipt i think i only spent like four 450 there all right we got 402 dollars and 65 cents so four items 400 uh, bucks four items let's see all right pull these out one by one feel like this feels like a bathing suit material let's see it does look like some bathing suit here we go, we have, dang, these are nice. I like the tonal colors. These are like a newer version of some pants we got back in the day. Yeah, these are good. So we went, we did a New York trip, we both bought a pair of them. The quality didn't come out that great, so I, I hope mean, this pair holds up better than the first pair. Yeah, hopefully this they redid it because they were nice. We both really liked wearing them, but they both got destroyed. Like all the strings come out, and then the pocket got destroyed and my phone would go through the pocket and out my pocket, like out the pants. But uh, no, these look nice. Summertime now, so nice pair of shorts. I like those. These are actually 120, so more than I thought. I thought they were gonna be like 60 or something, but not bad. I like those. I'm so. surprised by it. I didn't think those were that much. All right, what do we got here? Is this another bathing suit? Subi bathing suit, nice. I can see you wearing these. It's like a two-tone uh, kind of... Um, That's, I'm gonna say, this is the first thing that caught my eye when I walked in the store. Leopard, kind of leopard type of thing. But no, these are nice too. Another bathing suit, I'm glad. But they do have the traditional bathing suit mesh. Gotta cut that out, but... These are nice, these were probably, I like to compare. I wonder, these feel like these would be more than the, uh, okay, I was wrong. These were $95, the Kith ones, these were $120. Like that makes more sense. Yeah. So, pretty nice. Again, I needed bathing suits, it's summertime, so I appreciate that. I was going for some summer fits. I know this dude needs some more shorts. He's always wearing the same pants, so we definitely need to get him hooked up with some Represent, shorts. represent. All right, got two more things. We got a shirt here. I think this was fresh. All right, Subi shirt, check that out. That's nice, nice vintage look. What size is this? This is a size large. Nice I think that's good. Boxy, nice and soft. We love the, oh, it smells good too. We really like the boxy look. Has like the nice neck there. So excited about that. More fits. That's like a whole fit. So these two are the same brand. You can wear that together. One and then more. lastly, we have a Kith shirt. This is nice. A Kith pocket tee right there. That's really clean. Super simple for summer. All right, I think it fits. We're good. So you had the shorts RV to 120. The gray tee, Subi tee was 100. And then this shirt was $78. I feel like, I mean, I feel like it adds up to more than 400 bucks, but I don't know. also, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I was trying to spend more money than I did on this, but these stores, I don't know what it is about New York, but when you go in these stores and you're trying to either buy something or check out, it is the most long process ever. It's how long I'm drawing out how I'm explaining it. It's ridiculous. Yeah, nah, I I was standing outside while Nick was shopping for a good good bit in all of these things. He'd call me like, dude, I'm trying like, to- I'm just trying to buy something. All right, let's go to the next. What do we got next? I think definitely need to go to Supreme next. Supreme, all right. Big Supreme bag. You guys know Supreme, all the stuff that they drop. They have stuff in store after the drops. Typically, it's nothing like none of the crazy stuff, but they do have things from recent releases. And it was a Friday, so there was a release the day before. Definitely don't flame me on anything I picked from here. I mean, I think some of this stuff is pretty cool, so you're just gonna have to give your opinion. Oh, they're gonna flame you? Uh -oh. I mean, it's different How stuff. How much did we spend here? Is there a receipt uh, in there? All right, I don't see it, so I'm just gonna pull something out. Grab the bag. We got something orange, a sweatshirt. I, I literally did not even know that this dropped. I, I thought this was cool. I know your favorite color is orange, but wait till you see the back of this hoodie. So this is from Instant Patches Hoodies, Spring Summer 2022. Obviously the newest release. Let's see, what do we have in the back? What is that? Crazy. What the heck? You have a nice like cheetah, leopard, tiger growling there, Supreme. 
And that's pretty cool. Look, it's even got some on the hood too. But nice orange. It's kind of like a peachy orange. On camera, it looks. I thought this logo was pretty fresh. Like not too bad. Retail too. So I, I mean, everything I don't know what for retail. Is. Had to get it. I think that was probably like 120, 140 bucks. Probably something like that. Some of the stuff like right. that typically they have grab, so many releases. Grab the thing on top next. This. I thought this was like this? pretty fresh. Yeah, that right All there. All right, what do we got? Is this a baseball jersey? Yeah, this is like a baseball spring training like slip over. I feel like you could wear this to a Braves game, maybe if it rains. <laughs> Yeah, it's my rain pod. I can see it for raining. No numbers. Maybe we get something patched on here for Braves. But like Braves logo. I don't know. Logo. I thought this Supreme Spring Training patch, like I thought it was kind of cool. It's a unique piece. I probably wouldn't have gone out of my way to buy it, but it's a unique piece. Uh, Here, I think you should run this this right here next. Pink. Oh my God. What the? This is probably the craziest Supreme t-shirt I've ever seen. Why didn't Not you get it for yourself? Uh, Nick would wear this with his I was. Look. I was going to buy two, but I decided just to buy the one. He's going to wait until I don't wear it so he can buy it. Supreme. It's like a uh, it's got like a mini pink, mini box logo. Yeah, pink leopard print there. Nice. So I think this is that it for that. There's one more. Oh, there's one more. All right. One more thing. Some jeans. Where's the receipt? Oh, there's the receipt. And Some they, jeans. They and hooked your boy up with Supreme stickers. Don't worry. Supreme stickers. These are. Oh, I already see in the nice uh, Supreme logo there in the patches. Ooh, these are actually look kind of nice. Okay. I, I, I like was. These. I was hoping that they weren't gonna have like some weird like logo on it, but I think this is like a solid pair no. of like denim. It's like wanted, a straight cut. I wanted to see what a pair of Supreme jeans was like, and these looked like perfect. This is like a nice everyday pair of jeans for sure. I'll be curious to see how these fit because I've kind of needed a pair of light jeans, but hopefully they're not too, I like straight, but not like boot cut. And I don't think these are boot cut. Sweet. So I think I'm going to take this off. This is like loud with the materials. That's, that's basically all that stuff is cool and everything. But the last item I feel like really takes the cake, really makes this whole thing. So last item, it's one shoe. Okay, well, you didn't leave with too much from, we went to Laced Up. If you guys don't know, we've been to Laced Up before. We went there and uh, did some mystery boxes when we were in New York. Have a new store, or a new store to us in Manhattan. So we went there, he went shopping there. It was like the one sneaker. So we wouldn't do like too many sneakers, but he was in and out pretty quick. We also have a giveaway from them that we're gonna talk about in this video. I might've already put it in there, but we're doing a giveaway with them. So you go ahead, watch out for that. I was thinking about grabbing more than just one shoe. That store, you guys are gonna see, that store is crazy. The way cool. that they have it set up, everything in there looks awesome but as soon as i saw this shoe within the first two or three minutes of being in there i was like that's it that's it that's what i'm buying they gave us a nice little deal it was they had it in there at 1100 bucks but we ended up paying like 925 for it so can i make guesses I mean, you can definitely make guesses, but I think this is one shoe that I've seen you look at so many times in one specific store, and then every time you're like, nah, I'm not gonna get it. So that's well, that's like... I was gonna say it would be like Yellow Bears would be a shoe that you think, but I don't really go to stores and be like, oh, I, need, I should buy these and then not buy them. So... It's just like, I think it's a crazy shoe. I think you guys are gonna think it's a crazy shoe. It's just like a... It's an OG shoe. That so it's not newer. It's older. I don't think a lot of people know about it, but spent a couple thousand dollars, and this is the final item. Here, thousand dollars shoe. The, I'll pull the box out. Here's the here's the hint right here. All right, we have a blue SB box. I'm not great with blue SB boxes because we just did our 250k box, which should be the next video. I keep saying, it, but it's filmed, edited, okay. everything. But uh, a blue SB box. So I'll say it's a size 11 and a half too, so you have to wear these. This is your size in SB. Size 11 and a half. Are they new or used? They're used. Okay, good. Because if they're new, it's going to be hard for me to wear them, especially an older SB. But they're not $1,000 like... older SBs. And it like, it's not Uncle's because that would be a different box. It's not... Can you name the store that I always go to? So maybe I'll just remember it real quick. ATL Addictions. Oh, I think I, I think I know what it is now. It, you kind of have to. It is. Okay. So these are like the Travis Scott SBs. So this is a shoe that they've had there for a while. They had, do you remember what price they had them at? Uh, ATL Addictions? They were like, I think they were like 14 or 1500 They had them for a, in the same condition as these. They had exactly. them for a lot of money. And for me, I like them, but I didn't like them enough to spend $1,400 or whatever. Even like, it's hard for me to get to spend that money because I don't wear like, it's hard to make videos. You guys don't like seeing as much the older SBs, but like Nick obviously loves them. So we should put these on feet, see if they fit. It's supposed the to- The brown, this is a Travis Scott SB. That's what it's supposed to be, just like that. He's right, I would not have gone out of my way to buy these because I don't know. It's just harder for me to spend the money on a shoe like this when there's like new stuff that you guys like to see. Got the, the laces too, but let's throw these on real quick. I think they're looking super fresh. They're nice. Oh man, that is like one of the coolest shoes you've ever had on your feet, not gonna lie. <laughs> I've had a lot of shoes on my feet, Nick. Nah, bro, I, I have to say it, dude. These look crazy. All right, so I think I probably could have done a little bit better job in Supreme, but you guys know they're always dropping all the sickest stuff on the app. It always sells out so fast. So I think for the selection that I had in there, 
I think I did. I think I did the best job that I could. Nah, oh, I think those jeans fit. You're always wearing skinnies, but I think those work. I think this would look better with like a baggier shirt. I definitely think that a 30 would not have fit me around the waist. Oh wait, let me try this shirt. Yeah, I think it definitely looks better with like a like a bigger boxier shirt than a kind of the shorter, tighter one. But I think that's the best so far. Yeah. This is the first time wearing this shirt. I just picked it up. All right, guys. So that is all the selections from Nick. And I want to put a challenge out to you guys. If this video gets 60,000 likes, yeah. I will go, it's a lot of likes, that's but I lot. will go and do this for Nick, where I spend my money and I get to pick stuff for him myself and I have to pay for it. He's not paying crazy. for it. That would be crazy. I could do it to where if it gets 6,000 likes, you have to pay for it and I get to pick it, but I would feel bad. So I'm gonna have <laughs> Nick sit back and I do it without him knowing. So are you ready for that? You want I'm that to happen? I'm definitely down for 60, that. 60,000 likes 60, though. 60,000 likes? I think y'all can do it. I mean, this video has got to get a good amount of likes and it's kind of near the end. So maybe I'll pop this in or something. I don't know, but uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below and I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison and Nick signing out. Peace.